Others will know tomorrow whether or not they will remain in jail. The three are Chris Harney's killer, Clive Darby Lewis, Eugene de Kock and Ferdi Barnard. Justice Minister Michael Masuta will announce his decision on parole tomorrow morning. Clive Darby Lewis, a right winger, tried and convicted his crime, the gunning down of a possible future president, Chris Honey. Originally sentenced to be hanged from the neck, he got a last-minute reprieve. Ironically, it was the ANC during the Kempton Park negotiations that called for a moratorium on the death penalty. Darby Lewis has repeatedly petitioned for medical parole. And now, after months in the Eugene Marais Hospital for an aggressive cancer, he's apparently on the brink of dying. We have a terminally ill prisoner here that could die any day in prison. We are still expect him to tell uh, us what happened. And I think if, if from there, I think the family will forgive him and we can also forgive him. Over the years, four bids for parole were rejected. W. Lewis's wife remains anxious. We had 20 years of disappointment. So I don't know what to say. Another offender who wants parole is Eugene de Kock, the former Flak Blast commander. He's serving two life sentences and 212 years on 89 charges relating to apartheid killings. He has served 20 years of his sentence and he has paid his debt to society. And I think on that basis, like any other prisoner, he should be released on parole. Apartheid security agent Ferdinand Barnat was convicted of killing anti-apartheid activist Dr. David Webster and his friend Mark Francis. He also attempted to murder former Justice Minister Dula Omar. Barnard is serving two life sentences. Patricia Fasahi, SABC News, Pretoria.